a couple of months ago, we had the ple distinct pleasure of having the Lieutenant Governor of Pennsylvania and his lovely, charming, independent wife, Giselle, on as guest. And we have Giselle back tonight. Giselle Fetterman, come on in. Hello there. Hi, Amber. Thanks for having me back. Oh, no problem. No problem. So I'm sure you were you listening to uh, uh, the uh, uh, earlier show with Brian and Jessica. How lucky are we in Pennsylvania? I mean, to have them also not some great ones, but we do have some great ones like Jess and, and Brian. But it gives you hope, doesn't it? It's you know, true. <laughs> the sincerity and the strive. So since we last spoke, um, your, your husband has decided to... Um, change jobs you know uh, times of covid who would who would think about changing a job but your <laughs> husband wants to go from lieutenant governor to united states senator how do you feel about that i mean i'm not you know I, it's well known that i'm not a fan of politics um i think politics is mean and and i'm not so it's hard for me but you know i think if you have a gift or a talent that can make lives better. It is your duty to, to do so. And um, he can. Uh, so of course, I support him. Well, that's exciting. And uh, there is someone else running, a, 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 at least one other person running against him, correct? Yeah, I'm sure there'll be others as well. But he was right out there first and uh, um, also got a big boost uh, for donations too. Mm -hmm. I think there's one for me. <laughs> All right. So you you're, you're not just the meek, mild woman behind the scenes. You get out there as well. And you were talking to earlier about um, how the Diocese of Pittsburgh's a little uh, concerned with you. Could you oh. tell us about that? No, we, we've straightened it out. Um, just some confusion around the vaccine. You know, I'm very vocal about, you know, please protect yourselves. Please wear a mask. Please distance. If you are able to get the vaccine, please do. Um, so there was just some confusion around that, but it's it's been straightened out. Okay. Oh, okay. So, how is the COVID situation in Pennsylvania? It's uh, you know, the numbers are the lowest they've been. So we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, teachers have just now moved up in the list, so our teachers are getting vaccinated. Um, we've helped locally a lot of you know seniors who wouldn't have access to a computer. You know, it was a challenge in the beginning, um, getting them scheduled. But I think we're we're starting to move in a good direction now. So has the state opened up any, um, or what's the social situation there, or pretty much everything closed? With, oh, uh, so the governor just lifted some of the restrictions, so the travel restriction has just been lifted. Um, we're still all playing it safe, but I think now it feels hopeful, whereas, you know, a year ago today, it was, can you imagine, it? I think a year ago today was the last event that I attended publicly. It showed up in my stories. And I miss everything. I miss faces and hugging people. And Oh, I know. Uh, it was a, a year ago this weekend that Lucy Bell and I appeared in a local production. And uh, it just seems last show, right? That was the last show. <laughs> yes. And it was funny because um, there were whispers around about the virus at that time, too. You know, someone had just come back from a trip and we're going, oh, do we need to get close to them? And so, but oh. And I remember my son's coming home and saying, mom, that wouldn't come to America, right? And and he was like, of course not. You know, and to think about how, how the world has changed since. And, you know, I think a lot of things for the better. You know, I, I think we've learned a lot and we've we've had to push ourselves to do new things like like this. And uh, I think some things are, are going to be better than what they were before. Um, it's just too bad that everything else kind of sucked as well. So um, someone's asking about your food charity uh, you, that you talked about the last time. Uh, bring us up to date on that. Sure. Yeah, the free store um, is doing great. We continue to expand to different locations. It's been hard during the pandemic seeing kind of our new customers. In some cases, they were donors who then became customers because the pandemic hit them in a different way. It was hard seeing that. So um, back up, tell us what the, the food store is. What, what, what you, what sure, you so Free Store 15104 was the country's first free store where families can come for anything from formula to diapers to food, to clothing, shoes, accessories, toys. Uh, it's no questions asked. You don't have to fill out forms. It's just this kind of loving, welcoming space that's there to help your neighbors. 
And what we've seen during the pandemic is that previous donors have since become shoppers at the store. Um, it's shown how the pandemic has really hit folks who never thought they would be in this place. Right. And those that were already in that place are much deeper in that place. So it's been hard, but we continue to, to support our families and, and keep doing the work. So um, how many um, stores do you have in the state? So we're opening our 10th um, next month. And you go, you go to local grocery stores and say, hey, give us what you got. <laughs> oh, right. We establish partnerships. We learned that a lot of food is wasted at the grocery store level, at the restaurant level. So we work to build those relationships and rescue that food. So instead of it being discarded, ending up in the landfill, polluting our air, um, it instead is used to feed families. Well, that, that's so, that is so good. And it's a, a program that should be copied elsewhere. So what are some of your other interests and um, things that you fight for? Yeah, I mean, I fight for anyone who needs fighting. You know, I, I really care about those that are most vulnerable, whether that looks like women, that looks like immigrants, that looks like people of color. You know, uh, this community, it looks like whoever needs that support. Um, and that's, that's, those are the folks I really want to talk to and support. And you know, I was a young immigrant. Um, I remember what that was like. I remember not having hope a lot of the time. So I tried to to be there to support um, those communities. All right. So I wanted to ask a question. We talked the last time you were on about your husband hanging flags from the balcony of his office there at the state house in um, Harrisburg. One was the uh, uh, trans or the the uh, LGBTQ flag. The other was the the marijuana flag. And every time he put them up, you, the people would come, confiscate them, and give them back to you, and it'd be a big circus. And uh, then what happened? What's happened since then? So since then, they've passed a law to prevent him from flying the flag. So, you know, they somehow so quickly were able to pass a law to do that, but they haven't been able to pass a law for equal protection under the law to protect the communities. But I think they were able to show that if they really want to pass a law, they can do it very quickly. So what did your husband do? We put him back up. Uh, <laughs> bigger ones. <laughs> bigger ones. <laughs> well, now, and they, they've taken them down again since, but I'm looking at loopholes, you know, so maybe we can fly a kite. Maybe that is not a, that is not a flag, right? They, they'll have to pass a law that says no kites. I, I think that's a good or banners. <laughs> or I mean, can just pass a law to protect our community, and then we don't have to fly anything anymore. I would love to see Lieutenant Governor Fetterman flying a kite. I think that <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Well, thank you very much, Giselle, and uh, we'll be following your husband's campaign. And uh, when he's available, and anytime you're available and you want to come on and talk, we will oh, always here for you. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> Hey, coming to Vermont. I'm looking I forward will. to that too. All right. Okay, Giselle, nice seeing you.